of automation are going to be felt differently if you're a consumer or producer. For like me as a consumer, automation's a great thing. I get whatever is being made cheaper, it'll be exactly the same as everything else I buy, there won't be major defects in it probably. But for people who are producing it, it's reducing the number of jobs that are there because machines are doing them cheaper if it's a job in the United States and um, machines are usually doing it better they don't get tired or make big mistakes so they're just able to create a better quality of product in that time frame than a human could. It's gonna be way more efficient and a lot more stuff can get done once robots are working instead of humans. I think one of the real positive benefits from autom automating the workforce with robots rather than humans is there's a number of jobs that are really dangerous to a lot of people. Um, I mean, consider like steel production where there's people that have to feed blast furnaces and for a long time people were getting blown up and losing arms and legs and stuff from working um, and I think if we're automating some jobs like that that's definitely a step forward. So I would say that robots by and large can do things a lot faster than humans can and they tend not to make as many mistakes um, and especially now as the technology is getting better robots are getting cheaper so a lot of times they're gonna be a lot cheaper uh, than like having salaried workers, especially because aside from maintenance costs, it's more of a pay one time and then you're good to go instead of a you know monthly salary. The positive effects of robots is that they uh, make the manufacture things more efficiently and they're more precise than people. Another benefit is that when it comes to something like cars, um, automation makes it much more consistent and precise, and I think you want your brake system to be produced exactly as it was um, designed and engineered without any error. Um, there's also probably some things that robots can do that humans just can't. Uh, but the cons, the most obvious one would be people are going to start losing their jobs to uh, automation because their jobs, especially uh, low skill jobs, are going to become more redundant uh, where machines could do the job better and companies are going to realize they can save a lot of money. I think there are certainly a number of negative effects of automatizing the workforce. For instance, um, in Pittsburgh, there's a lot of, um, like, the city's put a lot of emphasis towards Uber. They've um, really set it up so that they can do 
their self-driving car tests all over the city. They've given them city land um, for their practice facility. They're going right along city streets and that's taking a lot of low skill jobs from people who otherwise would um, I mean who are otherwise having difficulty finding jobs and making money in a city where it's becoming much more expensive to live I think just one of the negative benefits is just like why is it worth automatizing some of these things like who really cares if my cash register like the person ringing me up at CVS or at McDonald's or something is an actual person or a robot like why don't we just pay a person to do that because we can rather than just having it have to be a robot well they're probably going to wipe out all of the human population working so that's I guess a negative and the negative effects is that you need humans to monitor them to make sure that they're doing what's supposed to be done of creation and that's a good and a bad thing because on one hand it's removing flaws robots are literally machine precision they're able to create identically perfect identical goods and perfectly do it every time and things like circuit boards that you put in a computer are things a human being could never craft on their own but at the same time, robots don't give flourishes in their work. They aren't able to put a unique spin on something they've made a hundred times. It'll always be the same thing they've made. And they'll never create artisanship in their work. It won't be different or unique to that piece. It's always going to be the exact same product every time. That's a good question. I guess it depends on how intelligent these robots are, because as AI increases, it's possible that AI will start being able to create stuff on its own, in which case it'll be less important for humans to create stuff. So I'd say that if AI goes in that direction, then yes. And if not, then probably not. Humans will probably not be affected in terms of that area. I think one of the hazards of automation is that it really removes many people one step further from the actual production of goods or services. I think it makes it makes people first off much less detached from what they're paying for and what they're using and it changes their relationship to those things, but I think automation also really concentrates control towards those who are um, able to pay to automate their production and um, reduce the cost of human inefficiency by guaranteeing it with a robot. Um, I mean, that has less to do with a human element, but I think there is a big loss from just that much more of the goods and services that we use being more, even more than they already are detached from those who are making them and 
the connection between those who made it and those who are consuming it or making use of it or what have you, there's an even growing gap between them and a point where we care less perhaps about those people and care less about their skills or um, their contribution. Um, uh, some human element, I suppose, as the question asked, to the um, good or service itself. I don't think it will. I think there's always going to be at least somewhat of a place for both. Because while certain things need to be produced extremely accurately, things like you know, computer parts or certain car parts and things that need to be very precision instruments, it would help to have a computer that won't ever make a mistake or a machine that won't ever make a mistake build that. There are going to be things that people want that homemade touch with. People like, like crafts, um, and as of right now, even if there are more robust in the workforce, I don't think the human touch is really going to go away. Uh, because we're still going to need those things. And there are certain things that robots just can't do. Uh, they can't do anything particularly creative. They have one, they have a goal, you tell them to do something and they do them. And they do them really well, but uh, they can't exactly color outside the lines so much.